guys so today I'm gonna be doing the what I got for Christmas beauty edition video I kind of made it up it's probably already existed but I got requested to do the what I got for Christmas video and I, I actually filmed it but then I decided not to post it because a lot of the gifts I got were personal and kind of random and that video just droned on forever and it's really irrelevant to my channel I want to make sure that I stick to my um, beauty and makeup and hair tips because um, that's what you guys are subscribed to see. So you're going to be seeing um, the beauty products that I got for Christmas and some that I bought after Christmas. Um, start off with, yes, if you notice my hair has been dyed, it is light blonde on top and then it's brown underneath and then I have red or burgundy tips. I got Christmas money and I decided I wanted to dye my hair so that is what I did. Um, and also, I want to say, I'm not trying to brag, this video was requested, so if you don't want to see it, please don't watch. You can go ahead and click out of it. Okay, so, this is one of my favorites. I got the Naked Palette from my mom and my uncle, and it is absolutely spectacular. Um, I was kind of debating whether or not I thought anyone, um, especially me, should spend $50 on eyeshadows, but it's completely worth it. Um, amazing quality, payoff, consistency. Um, great colors and it came with a primer potion and a little miniature I don't know if it's miniature but it came with an eyeshadow brush if I could find it here it is a little flat shader brush from Urban Decay um, so it really is worth the money um, and you will get tons of use out of this so super excited also I got a brush roll full of Satina brushes from my mother. Um, it came in this little purple brush roll. If I can get it shut, we would be okay. It came in this little purple snake skin brush roll, and it had quite a few um, brushes from the brand Satina. They're very, um, very flawless quality. Um, here's one that was in there. It's a like cheek or powder brush. I got. And then the rest of them were eyeshadow brushes. So I've got a flat eyeshadow brush, a kind of slightly bigger flat eyeshadow brush, and an angle brush. And then I got um, some e.l.f. brushes from my sister. So I got two e.l.f. face brushes. One's a foundation brush, and one is a powder brush, which is great for contouring. And then I got from another brand from my mom, Soho New York brush brand from Walgreens. So I got a foundation um, brush. Um, they're great quality too. I really like these brushes and then I have that Urban Decay brush and then these three more are from the Soho and their eyeshadow brushes and what I use this brush roll for is I just put my face brushes in this half and my eyeshadow brushes in this half and it makes a really handy brush holder um, as well as when I need to travel I can shove them in there cap it up and we're good to go and I also got one more brush it's this huge ginormous fluffy kabuki brush from Soho it's great and it comes with a little stand and I absolutely love it. All right, next, um, I got some mascara. It's the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. I've, I've had this before and I really like it. Um, so I got that in my stocking. And then I got um, these from a friend. I don't actually know what brand these are. I've been looking at them for a while. Oh, wait, here we go. Couture Diva. Um, there's, it's an eyeliner pencil duo. It's like a cream and a gold. I got this from a friend of mine. And also some glow-in-the-dark blue lip gloss, which is super cool. And then um, for my little sister, I got a eyeliner pencil from Rue 21, black. Works nicely. And then a pair of super dramatic lashes, which is exciting. Um, and then also from a friend of mine, I got a little NYC, um, it looks like they're pastel colors. I'm a little quad. It's called All For Me Eyeshadow Quad. I'm actually excited to try these out. Um, sometimes NYC can be a complete fluke and I just don't recommend it. Um, but sometimes you can find um, workable things. So I'm definitely going to test this out. Um, I really like the colors. They'll be pretty for spring. And then she got me an LA Colors um, little compact powder in beige. Which is good because I'm always running out of setting powder. So, and I've used it, and it's my color, and it's nice and matte, and actually smells like roses, um, which is kind of intriguing. I don't usually like scented powders, but it's kind of nifty. 
And then I went out and bought, with Christmas money, the Rimmel Stay Matte Shine Control Powder. I've had this before, and it does an amazing job of keeping um, your face matte. My face goes oily so fast whenever I put on foundation. I'm shiny within 45 minutes, no lie. And my face feels slimy and gross, and I have to touch up my powder several times a day or I will look disgusting. But I actually haven't touched up my foundation at all today, and it is still in good standing. So this stuff is fabulous. Okay, a few more facial things, and then we'll move on to the hair. Um, I got this little sample peel-off cucumber mask which I'm actually going to use here in a little bit because um, I have some makeup on, but I'm going to redo it a little um, nicer for um, New Year's Eve. Um, so I'm going to be using this um, Peel Off Cucumber Mask, which is always nice to have. I love facial masks. And then I have some makeup removal herbal moist cloth, no water needed, makeup remover wipes. I got my um, stocking. I've used these a couple times, Whoops, but they are super dry and they don't work very well. So, honestly, maybe it's just my pack, but I'm not agreeing with them so far. Okay, here's some bath items and body items. I got two little perfume samples that came with the Naked palette. This one's a John Varvedos Artisan, Artesian, and I really like the smell of that. And, but this one here is a Versace Bright Crystal. It's super floral, and I've used up almost this whole sample. I love this. I wish I was rich and I could buy the full size. Also, I got these little um, soapy petal roses. My grandma gave them to me. You can just rip off the petals and drop them in your bath, and it scents it and makes it all bubbly. It's super fun. All right, so we're going to move on to hair. I got packs of bobby pins, which is essential because I use bobby pins pretty much every day. And then I got a new straightening iron. This is from the brand Phi, Phi Beauty. And it has similar claims to Chi. Um, it was originally $25.99 and we got it for $9.99. Um, it works pretty well, but definitely not um, what I expect from its claims. But it works a lot nicer than my other one did. And I'm happy to get a good deal on it. All right, next is probably going to be my favorite part with the Christmas money that I got. I bought hair dye and I also bought a whole bunch of products and I got a few products um, for my hair. Um, as far as hair care goes, um, now that my hair is dyed and it's bleached and I need to take care of it because the last time that I dyed my hair, the color faded within a month or two um, and I absolutely don't want that to happen again because it was basically a waste of money and time. So. First thing I got was the Salon Graphics Healthy Hair Nutrition Intensive Hair Repair Mask Citrus Cream. It's a deep conditioning treatment, color defend formula for dry or damaged hair. I've been actually using this on a uh, daily basis or regularly when I take a shower because my hair is pr a little bit more dried out since I dyed it, but it doesn't seem to be too terribly damaged, which I'm very happy about. Um, but I have been using this, and I probably won't use it that much once my hair starts to get back to normal but I have been using this and leaving it sit in my hair in the shower for like 10 minutes then rinsing it out and it seems to be helping um, and I also got this shampoo I haven't used it yet but it's the Aveeno Active Naturals Pure Renewal Shampoo refreshes and rebalances for healthy manageable hair sulfate free for all hair types I mean, I was looking for, like, organic natural products because that doesn't have, like, all the harsh chemicals that can start to strip your hair of dye. It's free of sulfate, which can um, break down your dye, so I am excited to try this out. Um, I also got two of these Bio Infusion Healthy Beautiful Nourished Keratin Smoothing Hair Products. I got a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, infused with protective keratin and strengthening silk protein, paraben free and sulfate free. So these are very color safe as well and they have keratin in them so that's healthy for your hair. I've used the shampoo but not yet the conditioner and I like how the shampoo works. Um, next I got another conditioner and this is a sulfate free, paraben free, moisturizing conditioner from Ology, naturally nourishing, Plant and mineral base for dry to normal hair, color safe and repairing, which is what I was looking for. So another nice um, moisturizing product for my hair. Exciting. And also, I just have, I just want to show you guys, um, I used the Feria L'Oreal hair dye. Um, it worked really well, actually. I was pretty happy with how it 
worked and I just have a few um, leftover conditioners and for yeah just conditioners for um after you dye your hair when you wash it out um, so I can use these if I do run out of this because that is safe for my hair I still have those and then my last um, thing I'm super excited about my mom got this for me um, because when I first dyed my hair blonde, it was so brassy. It's still kind of yellow and brassy. I'm not quite satisfied with it. It looks really unnatural, kind of doll-like, especially at first. I really hated it. <laughs> but I got the Shimmering Lights Shampoo Blonde and Silver. This stuff is awesome. Here, I just want to show you what it does. If you look, look at the color of the shampoo that's coming out. It is dark purple. And it smells really like hotel soap. It has a super strong soap scent that stays in your hair, which is kind of obnoxious. But what this does is you wash your hair with it in the shower. Um, of course, I'm half blonde, half brown, so I only put this on the top half. And I leave it sit for like 15 minutes. And then I rinse it out. And what it does is it it's kind of like a purple wash. It helps cut the brassiness and it makes your hair look more natural. You're supposed to use this like once a week, but I've been using it every time I wash my hair because my hair is not quite um, to the color I want. So once it gets um, to the nice, cool, ashy, natural looking blonde, then I'll start slowing down the usage. But this stuff really works wonders and I'm super thankful for it. Um, so that concludes my video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry I haven't had any tutorials or videos up in a little while. It's kind of crazy with the holidays and I've had so many new things that I've been just trying out and I've got kind of busy so I've been trying to find time to make a video and I thought this would be a great instance to talk about my hair and um, some of the beauty products I got for Christmas. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!